I have a letter from the National Association for Scholars. I want you to use that letter close tonight. Dear friends, the victory for the campaign to stop I-1000 in Washington was amazing. A few weeks before the vote, it looked like the forces lined up to pass Measure 88 had all the money, all the political heft, all the organized labor, and all the media lined up. Washington Asians for Equality was a grassroots effort standing in the way of a tank. The pro-Measure 88 crowd seemingly left nothing to chance. The law and the ballot measure was deceptively awarded, and even the counting of ballots was subject to suspicious activity. But despite all this, Washington Asians for Equality rallied a majority of voters to say no to Measure 88 and no to racial preferences. The National Association for Scholars is based in New York City, but we heard about your campaign from Gail Harrell and Ward Carnley, who serve on our board, and our board unanimously voted to join our efforts to yours. We did a little in trying to drive attention to a cause. You did a lot. Our members, coast to coast, are proud of you and proud of having helped to whatever degree we could. You are not alone. All over America, citizens in large numbers oppose racial preferences. The people of this country want equality before the law. They do not want government officials and the bureaucrats dispensing favors to some groups and dispos 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 um, dispossessing others. The rhetoric of affirmative action typically masks the written line, uh, the readiness of powerful people to use race and ethnicity as a spoils system in which some are rewarded and some are punished based on political uh, allegiance. The voters in Washington state long ago made it clear that they didn't want their state playing that corrupt game. But the politicians never gave up. The midnight bill, I-1000, was their latest attempt. It failed, but it will not be the last time they try to bring racial preference back. The next time, they try, however, they will face an even stronger version of Asians for equality. You now see what you can accomplish. Congratulations on victory, which has given enormous encouragement to all of us in America who oppose racial preferences. Yours, Peter Wood, President, National Association of Scholars. I want to, I want to read this letter because I think um, NAS, um, at, I think October, when we were actually short of money, they came in. When I got donations from, you know, nowhere, you know, Florida, um, New Hampshire, I was like, where did those people come from? Then I learned it from, from NAS. We're very grateful for them to come up and uh, donate. And I think it feels good to have a national ally on this issue. And uh, with that, I know many people in this room have a question. What's next? Um, we're still pounding on our next move, but one thing for sure, we will not let our victory side slip. We will keep an eye on the movement. We're already looking into a new website, i200.org. It's in the work. And we want to, like Juan said, we want to start to educate the voters on I-200, what the current start state law is actually doing. So next time, they cannot lie. Yeah. Yeah. So if anybody in this room, we need the volunteers, you know, good writers who want to write on this topic, you, know, you can always contact us. Every single one of you in this room is going to receive an email from us. So you can always respond back, say, I want to volunteer. You can also go to waasiansforequality.org and you know, send us a message. Um, there's a lot of things we, our plan want to do. It's just like you know, we need to prioritize. But um, the short answer is the fight will continue. Thank you. Yeah.